Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Today we are going to look at how we can upgrade Kaspersky Security Center 12 to version 13. The version which I am currently running, uh, if you come over here and help and you click on Kaspersky Security Center um, version 12 about uh, Kaspersky Security Center 12. So you will see my version is 12.2.0.4376. Of course, before proceeding, the first thing what you need to do is you need to basically go and um, download the version 13. Um, there is a slight difference in Kaspersky website from the previous uh, version. So you can just simply go to support.kaspersky.com over here and here you have to go to for business and when you come to for business you have different versions available over here so you have to scroll down and come over here at security center version 13 yeah so once you are on this page you have to click on download latest version it will open another page where you have to basically select which one do you want to download. Uh, you have capability to download Kaspersky Security Center Administration Console. Um, you can see there is a full package. There is only Administration Console. There is full package for Debian, Red Hat and Windows Web Console also and uh, Red Hat Web, Web Console also. So I am going to download of course Windows uh, full package. 13.0.11247 uh, and I just need to click on download and it will be downloaded just for the ease and to record this video I have already downloaded this version if you see over here so our next step is to start with the installation and the upgrade process of SRC uh, security center version 12 of course before moving and proceeding towards the installation and upgradation process the best way is uh, to take the SQL uh, database backup for Kaspersky antivirus uh, security center solution uh, for that of course you can use management studio also uh, but in my case uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to run the setup from here because it's my demo environment I don't need to worry about pre taking a uh, pre uh, configuration or pre uh, backup utility while upgrading I'll get the option to do that also so I'll just click on this to extract the setup file let's uh, let's minimize this and let's get started with the upgrade process so I'm going to click on accept agreements next so if you see over here it says you have to upgrade the server and the web console because I have both the things installed on the same server but if you have only one you can only upgrade um, security center administration server only I'm going to click on next now um, it says I want to create a backup of a copy um, backup copy of a database or I have already a copy if you have already taken the backup then you can use this option otherwise you can just simply click on I want to create a backup copy of data you will click on next it will just take you towards the wizard of uh, taking the backup you have to provide the password over here for backup of course based on the size of your database of course it will take time it is going to get stored by default at this location but of course if you want you can change this location to something else and you will just click on next this backup will take the backup of complete Kaspersky security center database which will include your certificates and stuff like that once this utility is completed basically what this process does it launch it launches the um, Kaspersky backup utility which is available um, over here if you see over here there is a backup utility so the upgrade process also just simply use the same thing and it simply take the backup and store it over there right so now our operation has successfully completed you see over here 
and we just we are just waiting for it to complete and in terms of like uh, getting it complete fully once that's done we we are going to move towards the upgrade process and just to let you know if you look over here it is copying your tasks it is copying your uh, packages OSI images, OS images, uh, uninstallation packages or anything related to that, MST, um, DAD, G-Sync updates, etc, etc. All these things will be backed up. Now you see it is completed. I am going to click on next over here and I am going to finish this widget. Now the next process is to just simply upgrade your Kaspersky Security Center administration server. I'll just click on upgrade and I'll just wait for this to get completed. So if you see over here it has upgraded the plugin for Microsoft Exchange Active Sync, iOS MDM server. Now it is upgrading security center administration server. After that it will upgrade your exchange mobile device server, iOS mobile device management plugin and your Kaspersky security center web console. This process is pretty straightforward. Um, you just need to download the setup and make sure you have backed up the database that as I said you can do beforehand using your management studio uh, SQL management studio or you can do it during the upgrade process as we are doing in this tutorial itself we just need to wait for this to get upgraded and then we will just see over new version of Kaspersky security center as you can see that this whole process is getting there automatically I'm not intervening on anything I'm not supposed to intervene on anything so um, I just have to wait for it to get completed first it will upgrade and then it will remove the files which are not required and new files will be copied to the system So it is asking me to select the language for my web console. I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to upgrade this. Next, next, I'm go not going to change anything. Whatever is there as default, I'm going to click on test. Use default account, specify customer account. I'm not going to change anything as I said again. I'm going to click on next, next and upgrade. So this is the last uh, part of it where we are basically upgrading web console. So let's see I think something is already open which we have to close. Um, This whole upgrade process might take 15 to 20 minutes um, so it's up to you if you feel that you would like to continue with something else you can do that otherwise just wait for this process to get completed and as you can see that as a par as part of this upgrade it is not only upgrading the security center it is also upgrading my web console 
I have not still started working with web console um, or for any of the demos um, it's my plan for upcoming videos where I'm going to talk about the configuration and managing your Kaspersky security center through web console the benefit of course of the web console is that you can access web console without any extra installation uh, of any particular um, console on any of the machines so now if you see this is done I'm not going to run the web console I'm going to run the administration console for now and you see Kaspersky Security Center 13 is here and if I click over here same version is installed the other part which ha I have to show you is whatever was there before I just need to click yes over here don't need to worry about anything not going to go with any getting started wizard is saying uh, select this application for which you want to convert policies and tasks I'm going to click on next 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 if you have your groups and anything you have to select them where you would like to apply I'm going to click on ok if you see over here all my structure and everything is part of this itself nothing is changed over here all the stuff which I have over here is already over here I have not done anything in terms of changing on my stuff my tasks policies whatever I have will still be there uh, itself so there is nothing which will be uh, which will not be there so everything will be upgraded currently I do not have any policies if you see but of course if you have policies anything they all will be part of it uh, my this is test environment of course so I do not have much over here but as I said uh, you will have everything available over here Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you were looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.